Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a video that's going to be hopefully informative to most of you. It's about hair loss. And in this video, we did partner with Rogaine to bring you awareness of how you can treat hair loss, whether it's hereditary or self-inflicted or your hormonal, which I will possibly be experiencing after delivering my child, so. Fingers crossed. This video is going to be Q&A style. We asked you guys on Instagram to leave us some questions and you guys sure did. And then we're going to share uh, tips and tricks, beauty tips on my end and expert tips on his on how you can treat it. So if you would like to learn in this video, stay tuned. So the first question is, my thought on this is that because you sleep with a satin scarf, you might be making it too tight and then when you lay on that side that you sleep on and you toss and turn throughout the middle of the night without knowing, you're actually causing friction where the scarf meets your hairline and that can be causing a lot of the breakage and thinning that you're seeing. It's not that it's the scarf that's doing it, it's not anything, it just may be too tight. And uh, I feel like if it was anything to do with the satin scarf, it would be on the other side as well. Absolutely. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. For better understanding with her question, I asked her, is she using henna? Is she using semi or demi or permanent color? Does she have a relaxer? When was her last relaxer? So to answer him, she said that she wears protective styles 75% of the time. Her last relaxer was about six years ago and she does permanent hair color because the semi won't take. Doing protective styling 75% of the time can cause a lot of tension at your hairline. Too much manipulation can actually cause some hair thinning. So depending on the type of diet and how fast it causes you to lose weight, it can also cause you to thin out in the hair. That's because our hair goes through three phases, correct? Stephanie, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> it's kind of like we went to the same cosmetology school. Oh. <laughs> our teachers would be so proud. So when a hair falls out, because it's supposed to, because it's in that stage of falling out, we're supposed to grow a new one. But when you do these kind of diets, sometimes there is no new hair to replace that hair. So now you have to wait a little longer to grow that hair in. So think about it, if we lose about 100 strands a day and there are no strands to replace that strand, what you can actually do is cause a lot of thinning. Correct. Beautiful. Thank you. Smart. Thank you. And gorgeous. I have a 25 year old client. He is experiencing hair loss in the crown of his hair, as well as some hairline loss. He brought up that his father lost his hair in his mid 20s. I explained to my client that using products such as Rogaine that help with hereditary hair loss would be a great place for him to start. Rogaine wouldn't be for people with other types of hair loss like hormonal, alopecia, self-inflicted, like our thinning edges because of protective styles. Again, it's basically just for people whose family members had hair loss and it is only hereditary, like in your genetics. Correct, I believe okay. so. Cool. So another question he received was, Growing up, I used this specific hair gel that would make my hair like cement. I called it super glue. And as I got older, I noticed that my hair started to thin a little bit. I was getting very nervous. I thought I was experiencing genetic hair loss. So I decided to try out different options. I changed my shampoo, I changed my conditioner, I even changed my comb. I thought my comb was pulling my hair out. And then I suddenly realized maybe I should change my hair gel because this would literally make me like super glue. You couldn't. Yeah, it would be hard. <laughs> it was the, so hard. The wind, you know, I can have a convertible and my hair would be perfect. I went with a gel that was less heavy and it specifically said no petrolatum. Petrolatum, also known as petroleum, is an ingredient that can actually clog pores if left on too long, if not using the proper shampoos. So petroleum is an ingredient that you can see in products like Vaseline. If you put products in your hair that have such ingredients and then you use any kind of shampoo or your shampoo maybe like once a week and then you use something really gentle in the hair especially if you're a co-washer which is a conditioner wash only you're not going to remove that ingredient at all so it's just going to keep building up and building up and building up till it actually causes hair thinning 
my mother's on high blood pressure medication so she also experienced a lot of thinning of the hair and it's not that she lost all her hair it's just that it went into the resting phase for a really long time depending how her body is flushing out the chemicals or whatever um, is in that medication that causes that to happen to your hair really look into what you're experiencing at the moment when you start to see that your hair is thinning or not growing as it used to there's always a reason why so you want to just kind of like backtrack and like think about it so I wanted to ask Vincent if there was anything that he would recommend like Say someone isn't experiencing hair thinning, but they just have naturally fine hair. Are there ways to like style or cut your hair to like kind of give it the illusion of fullness? As far as hair coloring goes, I would recommend highlights. If they're done properly, it can create so much dimension and body in the hair. That's a beautiful way to start. What about layers? I, I know a lot of people get like to get a lot of like short layers to kind of give that more like more body to the hair especially yeah. if you have like curly fine hair you can do layering um try not to grow your hair too too long i feel like that starts to weigh it down but when you have like that shoulder length hair and you can do like this really cute shapes to your hair with the haircut it kind of creates more fullness where there Absolutely. wasn't a few tips from me as a makeup artist what i would do is just fill in my hairline or like if you have a part that you feel like is a little bit more sparse than usual you can take a brown or black or depending what color hair you have you can take an eyeshadow and actually fill it in it will give you more of a fuller look versus seeing the big part also you can go to beauty supply stores where they have have a bunch of uh, those hairspray things that mm -hmm. you can like fill in your hair. So quick question, what about yeah. like pink and purple for me? <laughs> That'd be cool. It would be cool, but it would be super noticeable. Okay. <laughs> Just wondering. <laughs> So earlier we spoke about clogged pores and I wanted to know if there was a way that you felt that you can clear out the pores. What can they do to like really cleanse the scalp? So my hidden gem, tea tree oil. That's my favorite. Tea tree oil is a natural astringent, which is a very difficult word for me. <laughs> you're gonna use that 15 minutes to 20 minutes before you shampoo the hair mm -hmm. and you're gonna massage it. A beautiful massage in the shower. You could have your wife or husband do it. Husband. <laughs> You're so rude. <laughs> and that's going to create a nice home, a nice healthy scalp. You can't have beautiful hair without a healthy scalp. Yes, that's exactly. Just... So I hope this video was informative. I had a ton of fun picking my husband's brain. I hope you guys got the answers that you were looking for. We should do this more often. I definitely would do this more often with you. So if you guys have any kind of videos that you want to see, make sure to leave them down below. If you are experiencing any type of hereditary hair loss, check out Rogaine. Everything else, I mean, you can use castor oil, you can use tea tree oil, you can use ama oil. Avocado. Avocado oil. You can try head massages, drinking water, checking your diet. Um, but hereditary is basically something that's out of your control, right? So I would say try Rogaine and see if that helps you. I hope it does. Um, I know how important hair is to everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Give us a thumbs up and... Till my next video, Ciao. stay beautiful. Does she use semi permanent, demi permanent, hem and hemi? He bit it, he bit it, Growing up, I only used one specific hair gel, and that hair gel I noticed started to have product build up a few flakes on my scalp. It looked like it was. Why? Because I can't edit what you just did. You did like a. I can't edit that. <laughs> Just keep looking. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. 